Oh no! No! <laughs> Check this out! This is covered! Oh my god, there is no way. Here are a few parts. Hmm, what could that mean? Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Friday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this one is pimping my six year old computer. So uh, let's get it. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. The day has finally come. Check what I got recently arrived a 32 gigabyte RAM module. Well, four of them actually, four times eight gigabytes. So let's exchange them. But well, first, uh, what have I done? A few days ago, I spent over three grand, three thousand euros on a new NAS. I will get to that when the NAS will arrive. Oh, this is gonna be so good. And I also, on the same day, I was like, I don't know what was wrong with me. I also purchased the DJI Ronin S, literally, to stabilize my smartphone. Ah, uh, what am I even doing? So I blasted tons of cash, which I actually saved up to spend on my new PC on the 5k gaming PC you can check out you know the initial vlog the initial idea right here so yeah I'm pretty much out of money again I bought this NAS for around two grand no taxes by the way the complete price would be around 2.5 grand completely insane I bought the Ronin S for 700 well 750 with taxes and I bought it for 630 something like that 629 so I thought okay yeah I actually need to pimp up my old PC because you know it's getting stuck when I open up photo editor, video editor and my browser. It can handle it. 16 gigabytes is just too less. So double that will definitely make a massive difference. When it reaches the 16 gigabytes limit, it just freezes up, writes on the hard drives and this is just way too slow. So yeah, I think this will definitely make a massive difference and improve my workflow until I you know, saved up enough money to get the new PC. Good thing that by now all the hardware is a bit cheaper. So it's not five grand anymore. It's probably more like four, I don't know. And a few months later, it will probably be worth even less. So that's a good thing. And for now, I will just enjoy these awesome looking RAM kits. Well, I won't be able to see them anyways. And by the way, I also need to buy a new network card for the new NAS because this will be 10G Ethernet. So I'm hella looking forward to that. Yeah, I probably will receive the NAS next week. Hopefully I've already paid it. I'm literally broke, but yeah, enough said. Let's get to exchanging the module. Let's do this. So that's the thing right there, that's my old RAM right there, just edited a video, dropped down to, you know, only 2.5. Oh yeah, I closed everything by the way. This is just Firefox right there, literally insane. 16 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes of RAM. You cannot see the model and the specifications in the device manager, I learned that just now. Why though? Okay, and here we go, that's my good old baby literally six years old by now it is insane the position is usually like right there but i you know i managed to somehow turn it i had to push in the drives <laughs> yeah that worked out barely and if you're wondering there's a hole in this wall all the cables go through there you can check out the vlog if you missed this insanity very entertaining i created this hole with a barbell something like that it's completely crazy as always and yeah there we go these are the ram kits in here only two so this is eight plus eight gigabytes and i will well i have to turn this off now to extract them and then i will insert the new ones with the gtx 670. I'm just so freaking thankful that this PC is holding up that nicely. So glad. So here we go and they look really nice. Oh my god. Shout out to my boy Alex for recommending these G's Killer Rip Jaw RAM modules. Love you my dude. Come on, speed the hell up. What are you doing? And by the way, I paid around 200 bucks for these four modules, so I'm, you know, still able to afford the little stuff, I guess. Oh, they are looking so freaking good. I love it. And there we go. Nice. Hmm, let's be saved and sorry. Let's turn off the power supply. And all the lights are off. The last days I already got electrocuted. 
enough times so will i be able to simply exchange them probably not because there is this massive massive cooling element right there so let's just press this button right here let's press all buttons one two three oh there we go there's the first module and four whoa pops whoa chase so the left ones, the tiny ones, were obviously the old ones and the red ones are the new ones. Just a little size comparison right here. Oh hell yeah, let's insert them. Thank you for your awesome performance, for never letting me down over the last six years. I paid 60 bucks for them when I bought them. I might be able to sell them for 100. <laughs> let's hope for the best. Ooh, dust is everywhere. Oh yes, I do not want to take out this motherboard whatsoever. So one. But the f oh no, I have a feeling, I have a bad feeling about that. Can you see that? There is no way that I will fit the fourth one in here. No freaking way. Oh god. Oh no. No. <laughs> Hell no. Check this out. This is covered. Oh my god. There is no way. Three and the fourth one would go in here. Okay, I will see you in a bit. God damn it. As you can already see, here are a few parts. Hmm, what could that mean? Oh, this door, I can close it. What could that mean? What a pain in my butt. Uh, so check this out. Here are all four modules. I had to break off a piece, this piece right here, of this outer case of this fan right here. It barely fits and everything is held in place professionally by duct tape and a piece of cardboard. <laughs> it would be so funny if this catches fire and the whole thing just burns down. I would freaking kill myself. Okay, now let's give it a first try. This is crazy. A really tight clearance as you can see. Ooh, <laughs> my CPU usually doesn't run very hot so i hope this cardboard up here won't give me any problems yeah let's just hope for the best why isn't this fan moving oh what's that oh of course oh my god thankfully i checked that oh there was this cable this little bugger that's better okay good thing that i saw that properties oh my god let's go easy flawless freaking victory successfully pimped my old PC, freaking sweet. My back hurts a bit because this was an awkward position to work in, but yeah, totally worth it. And yeah, other than editing vlogs, there is still not much going on in my life. So yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button away. I smashed four brand new RAM modules into my old PC. Bang the bell like crap to never miss. PC tuning updates, I guess. Check the recent news on chrisviron.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.